Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Boosie issues and apology. So first of all, the other day, I said Boosie issue and apology. Basada has an exclamation and a question mark, y'all. And what he said was, I never meant to hurt you like that, is what I was referring to as an apology. That was the best we could get at that moment. So, y'all, that is what I was talking about. Jesus. But anyway, he said, because now we have an actual apology. He said, I said some things and I didn't know it'll hurt you. Yo, daddy, truly sorry. And I hope you can forgive me. Live in your truth and just know that you always my baby, no matter what. Accept my public apology. Daddy could have said it in a better way. You my baby and will always be that. Daddy, baby, hope we can talk with a broken heart. So he said this um, the other day. Quite frankly, um, that's her daddy. So that's not going to change. So hopefully... She's able to speak to him on her time, okay? Whenever she decides she want to talk to him and they can reconcile on something. Like I say, he going to forever be her father, so it ain't too much we can do right now. But anyway, the next thing I want to talk about, y'all, is Chris Brown. They are doing a damn um, documentary on Chris Brown, bro. So, first of all, them glasses is fly. Chris Brown documentary, A History of Violence, to premiere next month. Chris Brown is set to be subject of a new documentary arriving next month, which will focus on allegations of violence against the superstar singer throughout his career. The Hollywood Reporter announced on Monday, September 30th, that the investigator, the investigation discoveries Chris Brown a History of Violence will premiere on October 27, kicking off the network's third annual No Excuse of Abuse campaign. Also, I want y'all to know this month is um, uh, Bully Awareness Month, basically. And y'all will be surprised how many people get bullied, especially by their own parents, just like Ivy. So I'm going to put a link in the, um, in the pinned comment. I'm going to put two links in the pinned comment, but I'm going to put one link that can allow y'all to learn about, you know, bullying, bullying awareness and um get some bully drip if you would like. Um in a trailer that was released, a woman says in a voiceover, Chris Brown's an amazing and talented musician, but let's call a thing a thing. He's an abuser of women consistently unapologetically. While people have knowledge of his incident with Rihanna in 2009 as well as alleged incidents of uh SEX assault over the years, the doc claims to have another alleged victim ready to speak as well. In a statement, the film's producer said with, um, with expert and cultural commentary layered throughout the documentary pro provides thoughtful reflections into each survivor's experience and the psychological destruction in the aftermath of their abuse. Um, uh, over the summer, Chris Brown and Yellow Beezy were hit with a $50 million lawsuit for a fight that allegedly occurred at one of their shows. I mean, if Chris Brown got to be the one to protect himself, it is what it is. The four men claimed they were invited backstage at Chris 11, 11 tour in Fort Worth, Texas on July 20th, along with 40 women. <laughs> According to Bush's version of events, he dapped Chris up and was having a positive interaction before one of the singer's team members said, man, you don't remember you two were beefing? At that point, Bush says, Chris replied, oh yeah, we were, what's up, nigga? I don't forget ish, and then ordered his crew to jump the visitor. Bush was then allegedly surrounded by seven to ten people who proceeded to punch and kick him as well, throw a chair at his head. Gang, why would you go back there and you know y'all had an issue? And also... I'm not going to lie. Chris Brown never claimed to not be a gangster. Now, abuser is kind of different, but a gangster. Uh, I don't know if y'all know, but he is a full-blown blood, okay? Pyro, uh, I think that's what it's called. I'm a pedestrian, so I don't necessarily be knowing stuff. But he talks about it all the time. So he never claimed to be an innocent guy. You know what I'm saying? He's absolutely one of them. So... Uh, Parker claims Chris then sent Yellow Beezy for him, and he also 
got punched and kicked. All four men claim they suffered severe injuries and had to undergo various med- medical treatments. According to their attorney, Tony Busby, at least one of them remained hospitalized at the time of the lawsuit of July 22nd. All I'm saying is, if you got beef with a nigga, why go backstage with him? That's all I'm saying. And if, it, especially if that is true. I absolutely, especially not Chris Brown. Absolutely not. All right, the, the next thing is judge and YSL case goes off and considers a mistrial motion after becoming fed up with prosecutors. You are so unorganized that you are throwing this case together as you try it. Y'all, this is the most ratchet, bruh. I, I, I have never seen something so bad. Like, at this point, it's like, shouldn't they just free Young Thug, bro? The judge can't get the other shit together. The other judge couldn't get his shit together. Young Thug prosecutor can't get his shit together. Even Atlanta or the government, whoever, because this is a fair case, the feds can't get their shit together. This is all over the place, okay? But anyway, here we are. I mean, I can't figure out what it is. If it's disingenuous, if it is that, I mean, I don't, I don't want to malign the prosecutor standing in front of me right now. So I'm not going to say the possible things that it could be. But it- okay, let me tell you something. Just give me a second. Okay. <clears throat> malign. Evil in nature to affect mal- malevolent. She had a strong and malign influence. Speak out, speak about someone in the spitefully critical manner. Okay, she didn't want to be rude. Because that's all you had to say. All right. It is baffling to me that somebody with the number of years of experience that you have time after time after time, continues to seemingly purposefully hide the ball to the extent you possibly can for as long as you possibly can. And I really don't want to believe that it is purposeful. My thing is, she just got here. Lady, you just pulled up. Or whatever. But honestly, after a certain number of times, you start to wonder how it could be anything but that, unless it is just that you are so unorganized that you are throwing this case together as you try it. And I am sorry to say that. Is that the woman she wasn't trying to be maligned to? But this case is being made much more difficult for everybody. I thought she wasn't being maligned. Because of the haphazard way in which it is being presented. I'm, I'm going to take a recess for a few minutes. I'll have a ruling when I get back. And then just walked off. I ain't waiting for nobody to stand up and say the judge is walking off or nothing. Jesus, damn. 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 And ain't she talking about the prosecution? The, uh, what'd you just say, friend? The state RICO friend, the feds declined to try the case. They know it's even messed up. Okay, so the woman she talking to, isn't that the state prosecutor? She talking about defendants or the plaintiff. We all lost, okay? All I'm trying to say is I think she's lost, okay? I just feel as though. So she's also saying that the state prosecutor got this looking like a mess as well. Girl, throw this out. They done got away with all the, all the urtas. They done got away with all the stealing. They done got away with the shootout. They done got away with everything. And Young Thug don't have nothing on his hands but a rental car. Well, technically a murder connected to a rental car, which is an accessory. However, girl, free him. Oh, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.